Time to make a practice mosaic. Open up a new Google tab and in the upper right corner, as long as you're signed in to your student email, you can choose your Google Drive. It might be in the right hand side or it could be on the left. It's up to you. Or you could even search Google Drive. However you get there, this is what it looks like. Click on New, go down to More, and click Google Drawings and that'll come up for you. This is what it looks like. First thing you'll need to do is name your drawing. Just type in your name and then practice mosaic. Next you'll create a background. I just chose shapes and then the square shape. Cover your whole background and then turn it the color that you want. I like black for mosaic so that's what I chose. You can pick any color. Next step is to bring in a picture. For this practice one, we're going to use a very simple shape. It could be literally a circle or a leaf shape or any simple shape that's all one color works especially well for the practice. I'm going to do a heart shape for mine. Drag it over there once you find one that you like and you can drag the corner blue box to make it bigger if you need to. Okay, now we're going to close out those hearts. We don't need those anymore. And we're going to zoom in to make this a little bit easier to see. I clicked on the magnifying glass and I can zoom in on part of my shape. Next, go to the line tool and choose polyline. This is the main tool we're going to use. You'll notice I'm going to just start making lines by clicking and then I have to go back to my first click to finish off the shape. The polyline tool is pretty cool. You can change the color and change the outline to transparent. Notice that shape is selected. Now, if I go in to make a new shape, it'll be the same color as the one I just did. That's pretty convenient, so you don't have to choose the same color every time. So I'm going to go around just making small little bits and shapes, just like a mosaic. I'll speed this up a little bit so you can see the process. When I made this shape, I made a mistake, and I want to show you a couple ways you can fix that. See how it went outside of the shape? I'm just going to go up to this undo, and I could undo it that way, or I can select the shape, double click, and I can actually move that point, that one that went way out. Either way is up to you. You can also select it and delete the shape if you want to. All right, I'm going to keep going, filling in the whole shape with little shapes inside. All right, I'm just going to fill in those last couple of mosaic shapes here. And then I'll show you how to delete the picture behind it. We don't want to keep that picture in there. So I'm going to zoom out, go up to that magnifying glass and click fit to fit it on your screen. And then click on the arrow, that select tool, and then click that background shape. Drag it off to the side and delete it. Awesome. Now you can go in like I'm going to do, uh, zoom it in and fill in some of those gaps, those bigger gaps with really small shapes. Alright, so when you're done with that, you can go to your select arrow, click on a shape, and you can start changing the colors. If you want to select multiple shapes, hold down the shift button on your keyboard and click on multiple shapes. That makes it easier to change lots of shapes at one time. Or you could do one by one. It's up to you. Notice there's a ton of different colors for you. 
Um, just pick out whatever colors you want for this practice shape. Um, I just want you to get some practice changing the colors of your shapes. When you're done changing your colors, you can save your image. Go to File, Download, JPEG Image. That'll save it to your computer. The nice part is it also saves onto your Google Drive automatically. There it is. Hope you have fun with this project. Get some good practice in for our final project to come.